The Bank of England has announced some of the toughest restrictions on bankers' pay anywhere in the world. Bankers will be forced to return their bonuses up to seven years after receiving them if found guilty of misconduct. The measures follow the financial crisis of 2008 and a subsequent series of major scandals. Our economics correspondent Simon Jack has the details. City bankers are some of the highest paid workers in the UK. Many of them receive a substantial part of that pay in the form of an annual bonus. It's a lump sum, often in shares, which can be up to double their basic salary. They generally have to wait to get their hands on it for three to five years, and it can be clawed back during that time. Under these new rules, they may have to give it back up to seven years later, even if they've already spent it. We now have the toughest regime uh, in banking pay of any global financial centre. Pay, people, bankers are actually paid less here than they are compared to New York and Singapore and Hong Kong. And ultimately, this could have an impact on the competitiveness of London as a financial centre and the jobs and tax paid here. The Bank of England has described the conduct of some bankers as highly reprehensible and has today released proposals which could see some face jail in extreme cases. Recklessness, interest rate rigging, money laundering, mis-selling, these scandals have cost the city its reputation and taxpayers and shareholders hundreds of billions of pounds. But what about the individuals? It's hoped that these tough new rules will change the culture of the people working right here in the heart of banking. Can you imagine every single banker taking their own lawyer, bring him right to court? I mean, you have to think through the methodology of the whole thing, right? They want to claw back seven years, right? Seven years, really? No, that's, no, that'd be tough, really tough. No, I'm happy to, uh, uh, yearly would definitely be uh, the way forward, but seven years is, is um, ridiculous. So, uh, yeah, I would I probably leave five or seven new career. They aren't accountable, are they, for obviously the way that they behave and they would be in any other industry. So, yeah, I, I, I would support that move, for sure. These are groundbreaking measures, for sure, but do they go too far? I think these are actually acceptable. There will be an argument against them, but eventually we'll probably see all authorities bringing in similar draconian rules, so we just made the first move. Is the bonus party over? Well, one thing is clear. The champagne may have to go back on ice for a few more years. Simon Jack, BBC News.